Hello, my name is Baruch Badilovsky and I am the Associate Rabbi of Bormod and Elstree United Synagogue. The question I've been asked today is, are we supposed to keep challah on the table during our Shabbat meals? The answer is that ideally we should keep challah or bread on our table throughout all meals until the grace after meals, Birkat HaMazon, has been completed. I'd like to share with you four reasons for this. The first reason is that since the grace after meal is a thanksgiving to God for providing us with the nourishment and food that we need, it is best to have bread on the table when we thank God for it. I would add that although we are thanking God for all food, bread is what actually halachically obligates this particular grace after meals. Additionally, bread traditionally symbolizes the food which sustains us. The second reason is that having remaining bread on the table symbolizes that we were blessed to have more than what we actually need. This inspires us to deeper gratitude. A third reason is that leaving bread on the table symbolizes that if there would be a hungry human being in desperate need for food, we have prepared ourselves to make some available to him or her. This is consistent with Jewish teachings that command us to always share what we have with the needy. We are constantly aware of this value. Finally, our fourth reason is that not having any bread would imply that we want more and we are not content with all we were blessed with. Rather than give such an impression, we leave bread on the table, thereby demonstrating that we are content with even less than what we are blessed with. I believe that this tradition illustrates how Judaism always challenges us to be exceptionally sensitive to even the most minor aspects of our behavior.